Hello, this is Abi from Warehouse Republic. And <clears throat> today I will be showing you how to quickly check your inventory at st stock status in 3PL Central. Again, a reminder, 3PL Central is the warehouse management system that we use. And uh, you know, uh, as a customer, you're using that to uh, uh, place inbound orders, set up outbound orders, or even review your orders in queue. And uh, the last function is, which is checking your inventory on hand. Uh, just a reminder, when you send us inventory, it may take us uh, a couple of days to update the inventory in the system, but uh, you should see it pretty quickly. We try to process things as soon as we get them. Um, so uh, just kind of focusing back on how to check inventory, you'd go to your uh, site menu, click on inventory, and hit manage inventory. It's as simple as that. Uh, beware of like some of the previous filter settings from another session that you might have had. So like uh, 3PL Central tends to retain that. Uh, one of the things I like to do is hit clear and that just makes sure like the filters are kind of like reset. Um, so here's a scenario uh, where for this sample company, I'm, I'm looking up the inventory. And as you can see in there uh, by default, uh, the SKUs might be repeated a couple of times. Uh, now, the reason that happens is uh, when you have a lot of inventory, we might actually store it in different places. So internally, this actually allows us to kind of like look up where all it's kind of stored. But uh, for your purposes, if you want to know what the unique counts are, all you have to do is simply click on combine identical rows. And that will summarize your SKUs. And, um, you know, you can also actually see some of the slightly more handy features out here where like what are the different receipt dates and stuff associated with the SKU. Um, but yeah, out here, uh, you can actually see uh, the quantity that is available. And that typically means like a uh, quantity that can actually be used to fulfill orders. Um, so that's pretty much a quick look at inventory. There is another way you can look at stock status uh, and that's report stock status you go ahead and just select your company name. And uh, what I like to do is just leave it as summary, but then check this box to show all. Uh, so basically include any SKU that may be uh, at zero. And this kind of gives you a good idea uh, or a way to check what needs to be uh, replenished on our end. So you would just keep the uh, report definition as is and hit run report. And then uh, the system will auto-generate, uh, you know, this report, and you can of course export it in whatever format you want. Um, it's a simple tool. Well, I hope uh, that um, answers all questions. Uh, there is one thing I uh, forgot to mention. You will see that there is a column called on hand and then uh, available and uh, also allocated. Uh, on hand just means like what is the total number of inventory in the warehouse available is off the on hand uh, inventory how much can be used for new orders and allocated uh, in this particular case is uh, zero allocated but if you do have orders in process uh, there are some uh, items that have been set aside for those orders so that will kind of show up under allocated column so if you're looking at um, it from a high level, basically on hand inventory equals allocated plus available inventory. Okay. Um, hopefully that that's a useful tool, uh, for you to keep in mind. And again, please feel to, uh, free to reach out to us at hello at warehouse com If you have any other questions or you're, uh, you know, a little confused about how to use 3PL central, we're always happy to help you out. Thank you.